Hey guys, Matty from Revenge. We all know what time of year it is. It's October. It's not going to be long and that East Coast current's going to be pushing that beautiful water down the shelf. The marlin will not be far away. Today, we're going to look at making live bait rigs for striped marlin. <laughs> right now, let's not waste any time straight into it. A couple of things that you need for today. Fluoro. I use 200 pound fluoro when we're chasing striped marlin on the shelf. I find 200 is a good number. Um, it's not too heavy, not too light. Somewhere in that 2 to 250, um, it'll, it'll set you well and truly on the right track. Crimps or swages, whatever you want to call them. So you need a couple of these for whatever size line you run. Hooks, once again, I've said before, I like these trocar um, eagle claw hooks. I reckon they're deadly, they're super sharp. And I've, I've just, personally, I've had a really good conversion rate on them, so I guess everyone has their thing that they preference. These are my favorite hooks. And just a pair of crimps. So I've got my leader here, my leader's three and a half meters. As I mentioned in the live baiting for black marlin video, I don't run wind-ons. Um, the main reason for that is they just, they don't suit my style of fishing. Anyway, the process for these is super simple. Take one end of your line, feed a crimp on, feed, feed the hook on. Back through the crimp, pull it down, and then just crimp it. There's one end done, I'll just knock this little bit of a tail off it. I wouldn't cut them off too short, leave a couple of mil there, um, they don't need to be cut off flush or anything silly. And then on the other end, I do much the same. So I do what they call a Flemish eye on this end. So feed your crimp in. And then the Flemish eye is basically just do a loop, go through itself, pull it tight, slide the crimp down. So once you feed that down, same story as the other end, just crimp it. So then there you go guys, that's it. One end, you've obviously got your hook crimped on. The other end, Flemish eye for a bit of wear protection. Once again, crimped on. So the only thing left is we need a way to attach our livey. So once again, we'll take some Dacron. Knock it off. We'll just tie a loop in this. I get a bit wild with these sometimes, but... And then it's the same story. So take the end that the knot's tied on. Feed the other end through it. So then once you've got your loop, take the end that the knot's tied on, feed the tail end through it, and that'll create a loop. That loop will go on the end of the hook, pull it tight, and then there you go. Live bait leader, ready to go, will absolutely decimate striped marlin. Thank me later. Cheers guys, I'll see you in the next video.